right, all right. What up, world? Welcome back to another episode of Skinny's World. You guys, where am I at? I am at your car. This is actually the home of the R8 where I bought the R8. And as you can see, this car is stripped down. What's up, Jaden? You, you, look, you look excited, but you look sad at the same time. Yeah. There's, there's, there's a little secret going on here. So as you guys can see, the R8 is stripped down. All the decals are off. I got the stock runs back on, although they're white. Everything is stripped. Stock exhaust is on the car. And you can tell by that thumbnail, you can tell by the title, yes, it is about time your boy Skinny pulled the trigger and made something happen. So this journey has been a long time coming. I know it started this whole new, hold on, we got airplanes going. Like I said, it's been a long journey for this whole, I'm gonna look for a new supercar or supercharge the R8. And the decision was not easy, honestly. It wasn't, am I gonna keep this car, supercharge it, redo the build, maybe do a wide body kit, I don't know, do something nuts, some different aero, or continue on to something else and new and make a dream happen. And your boys made a decision, I'm gonna make a dream happen. Today is the day your boy is finally gonna make something happen. I'm so excited to show you guys what I have in store. But right now, we gotta walk inside. We gotta do a quick more, little more things before we get started, but do not skip. You guys are gonna be thrilled to see what we have up next. I'm so pumped. It's been a long journey coming to this point. I know a lot of you guys have been in the comments literally for the past eight months, like Skinny, Supercharger, get something new. Supercharge it or get something new. Also, what I got special is, obviously you guys know this whole thing, this whole channel started with the passion for me and my dad with cars, right? So I actually have his special shirt on that I wore actually when I got the art wrap the first time. So my dad was a huge NASCAR fan. And that's what we bonded over was cars and specifically NASCAR. He was a big Dell Earnhardt fan, like probably the number one fan. And this is his shirt, his actual physical shirt he owned. And I'm gonna wear it, let's go. Wow, where do I begin? Where do I start? Man, I really want to sit back and reflect on, honestly, where this channel has started, where it's come, where it's going, where it's gonna go, and my start. So those of you who don't know, I started this YouTube channel. Man, it's been, it's been some time now, right? It's been about four years, almost going on five years. And the reason why I started this channel was really a bond between me and my dad. We had a passion for cars. That's one thing we bonded over the most of our relationship was about cars. Ever since a little kid, I've always had a passion for cars, right? Man, it, it wasn't even just exotic cars. It was anything on the street that sounded cool, that looked cool, and just caught my eye. And with that growing up, that's the one thing that my dad and I bonded over was cars, was a love of cars. Like my dad was a huge BMW guy. With that, he also was a NASCAR fanatic, specifically Dell Earnhardt. So the one thing that we cherished together, the one thing that we could always kind of circle and tie back into was cars. So I had this idea one day that I really wanted to create a channel, a YouTube channel, somewhere just to document somehow the crazy and funny things I was doing with my friends and with my family. But I really want to do something in corporation with my dad because he was honestly the funniest guy on earth. Like you talk, you guys think I have a funny, crazy personality. Like he was me times two, literally. So I really wanted to find a way to like document something with my family and with my dad. But unfortunately my dad ended up passing away been five years now, and I wasn't able to really start that YouTube journey, that documentation journey with him, because I lost him too soon. So it's crazy to think like how I started this channel, right? Like I always kept, and I kept talking about, I wanna do this, I wanna do this, I wanna do this. I never actually put action to it. And it was one Father's Day, my wife actually bought me a gimbal for my iPhone and said, you know what, you keep talking about doing this YouTube thing, just go out and do it. And the reason why I never started was because I honestly like, I was depressed, I was a little depressed that I lost my dad really early, and man, it was, that was a tough, I would say, two and a half years for me. I'm still dealing with it to this day, but that was a good solid two years that it was just, it was hard on me. So my wife surprised me one Father's Day and bought me a little gimbal, told me, just go film, just do it. Start it and see where it leads you. And that's what I did. Looking back to my first few videos, it's pretty wild to see like the kind of videos I was doing. I was doing like family stuff. I think my first video was in Vegas, like a Vegas trip with the family by the pool, like, there was no really storyline behind it. And then came the R8, my first gen R8. I remember that I really wanted to get, actually what's funny is I actually wanted a Bentley Flying Spur. That was the one car that I wanted. Like I just didn't think it was possible or even for me to be able to obtain to get a supercar. So it wasn't even on my mind at this time. 
I had a friend that I met down in San Diego who had a Gallardo, and I was drooling over this car, like, oh my gosh. It was all black, satin black, black rims. I'm like, man, I wish I could have one of these one day. He's like, well, why are you looking at a Bentley then? You can afford one of these. I'm like, there's no way I can afford one of these. You know, just not really having the knowledge of like how to really figure out financials to obtain a car like that. So we sat down, he broke down the cost he spends monthly on a payment, maintenance and how it really isn't as bad as I thought it was. And he was like, dude, you can afford this. He's like, if you save up enough money, down payment, you can afford to have this car. I said, you know what? You're right. So literally went home, sat down. I planned out how much money I needed for a down payment, how much money I needed to, to save for a monthly payment. And I grinded and I worked and I worked and I worked. I worked my way up to be able to afford to have that supercar. And that's when I bought my first gen Audi R8. So having that R8 and starting to do some content, obviously you naturally like kind of just lean towards what you're doing every day. I mean, as I started doing videos, like I really wanted to do like a family style video, but my passion was what? Cars. So it kept slowly drawing me in and drawing me in, going to car meets, meeting people, going on drives, meeting more people, going to cool events, start modifying my car. All the things that you guys are seeing, I did like on a way smaller scale, but it still kept drawing me over to what? Cars, and that was my passion, right? So as we elevate in life and as we work hard, there's you just keep changing and keep chasing and keep chasing these goals. And I always had one goal in mind, which you guys will see in this video. What I'm saying all to say is that I'm just your average guy that is really chasing their dreams. And really, still to this day, I'm still chasing my dreams. I know when I announced that I was looking for a supercar or supercar shopping, or am I gonna supercharge the R8? I know the running joke is supercharger, supercharger. But you guys gotta understand that I'm not rich. I'm not rich. I'm your average guy out here grinding, trying to get it and make his dreams happen. Just like you guys are and just like you guys can and a lot of you guys will. It's crazy, I never thought like how far YouTube and how far doing content in this channel would take me. Meeting all the cool people I met, all the crazy adventures I've seen, all the crazy cars I've seen and heard, seen driving on the street, wow. It's been a wild journey. But the one thing I do cherish the most that I mentioned earlier was the people I met. I met some amazing people, met some really great friends, and made new family members. I don't even call a lot of my friends friends, they're my family, they're my brothers. So from the beginning of this dream car series that I started, one, looking for a supercar for myself, right? I said, I'm gonna take you guys along for the real process of getting a car. And man, the comments, every video would flow and would flow and would flow, month after month. Is this guy ever gonna get a car? He's just trolling, clickbait, clickbait, wow. And I'm not gonna lie to you, some of those comments, most of the time, like, psh, whatever. But a lot of them, sometimes, they do get to you, they do scratch a little bit of a surface. But I knew deep down inside, I had a plan and I had a process and I follow it, I'm gonna make it happen. And guys, guess what? I made it happen. I'm tying all this in to say is one, once again, thank you guys for tuning in and following along this journey. I really do appreciate it. In the future of this channel, it's just gonna get even more exciting and even more fun. And I feel like it's a new beginning, honestly, with what you guys are gonna see next. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it quick, right? I'm not gonna keep pushing this on, but what you're gonna see next, I feel like it's a new beginning and a new start to this YouTube channel, to Skinny's World to World Crew, and I'm really excited for it. And man, doing this video was tough. Like honestly, all the excitement, all the anticipation, and just thinking about all the hard work that I put in to kind of get to this moment. I got really emotional, I'm not gonna lie. Like you will never catch your boy really crying on camera, like acting really, really, really emotional in that sense. But dang, it got really deep making this video. And that's when I, once again, before I head back, thank you guys for tuning in. I'm excited for this next journey in Skinny's world. I hope you guys continue to tune in. And one big message, don't give up on your dreams. No matter how big or how small, how quick or how fast you can make it happen, keep chasing, keep grinding, put your head down, work hard. Some doubt may get kicked in. Just make sure you can push it aside majority of the time and don't give up. I don't live in proof right now. If you do those things, you can make your dreams happen. Let me stop babbling. Without further ado, let's get to the rest of this video. Let's tap in. All right, you guys ready? The moment I know I've been waiting for, you all been waiting for it. Man, if I cry, do not laugh. I don't wanna see any comments because your boy might cry, I'm not gonna lie. But without further ado, we're gonna show you guys the brand new reveal, yes, of my brand new supercar. Get it. Woo! Let's go. Yes. There we go, we have a 2017 Lamborghini Huracan. Let's Go.
Yeah, make it look, make it look, make it look easy. Hey, stand up guy, boom, ten toes. Big body pull up in a Range Rover. I can change the whole game when I say so. I pull up, shut it down, yeah, they know. <laughs> Running this game ain't a thing for me. I never switched up, no change in me. The only thing changing this season, you go against me, then you know that you tweaking, okay? Cause baby, I'm him, I be on 10. Two stepping in the party, I do not dance. Watch how I move, make it look easy. Counting up wins, that's part of the plan. Black males taking up my haters a CC. That can't fail, I'm gonna get the reason why. Holy crap. This has been a dream I've been dreaming of for a long time. Since I was a little kid, I've always wanted a Lamborghini man, specifically Mercy Lago. And then when the Huracan platform came out, I love the Gallardo. When the Huracan platform came out, oh my gosh. It was like one of those things where I just had to have it. It was a big goal that I had. One of my biggest goals, obviously, was like family, house, stable, right? And then once I realized that I could afford something, I really want to make that dream happen and get a supercar, specifically a Lamborghini. My first step was my Audi R8, which you guys remember, my first gen R8, made to my second gen R8 2017, which I actually bought here at Eurocar, and I'm able to finally make a dream happen. That's why I did these dream car series, right? Was one, not to inspire you guys, but to inspire myself. It's not always about what kind of car you have, but it's about how passionate you are about getting that car, what you do to that car, and how it makes you feel when you drive it, when you sit in it. That's what it's all about is making your dreams country. You can have, it could be a Honda, it could be a Supra that we've seen on the channel, right? It could be Challenger, right, that I drove, right? It could be anything. And for me, it was always a Lamborghini and specifically the Huracan. I'm so excited, so proud of myself that I'm able to make this dream happen and share it with you guys. So I'm gonna continue these, these dream car series. I'm gonna keep doing them. And I'm also gonna show you guys, obviously the build I have ready. I have so many plans ready for this car. It is gonna take me time, so don't rush me. Like you guys are trying to rush me to get this car, but I have so many things in store for this Huracan. You guys have no idea. I have like four phases, which I'll talk about in a different video. But man, how pumped are you? Wow, it has been, wow, it's been a long time. It's been a roller coaster, man. It has been a roller coaster. I know a lot of you guys out there were doubting. Some of you guys were hating. Some of you guys were encouraging. And you guys thought this wasn't gonna happen. And I wasn't BSing you guys, I told you that I was working on it, had to make some moves, like it takes time. I'm not rich, I'm not a millionaire. I'm just your average guy grinding it hard and a family man who's trying to make his dreams come true little by little. And this is one of my stepping stones right here. And I did that shit. The wheels. You like the wheels? The color. The color. <laughs> <laughs> it's just good. You like it? It's a Oh my god. Like Another reason why I do what I do is inspire my boys to so always keep pushing, chasing for their dreams no matter what it is. Smokes. I am like in shock that this is happening right now. <laughs> oh man. I always talked about buying one, owning one. And sometimes you have a little bit of doubt in the back of your head and you try and scratch it away and say, nah, nah, you can do it. Sometimes that doubt takes over and man, I honestly thought one day I would not be able to make this happen, but sacrifice, work hard, plan, save up, right timing, and boom. Holy smoke. <laughs> they don't let me get emotional at all. It's always fun and laughter. Like, <laughs> those are hilarious. Yes, sir. Guy. That's funny. So if you guys are wondering, yes, if you can't tell by the front bumper, it is a 580-2 rear wheel drive, which is what I wanted. The R8 was all-wheel drive, obviously, right? It was a lot of fun. It hooks the road really tight. You, it's a, it really is like, let's say a driver's car, not like a Porsche, but it's a driver's car where you can hit it so hard in the turns, it'll stick. I know the rear wheel drive is a little different, but I want to do some fun stuff. We go to the block with the boys, we do things, and I can't do any donuts or anything crazy because the all-wheel drive system, and that car does not like it. Even the all-wheel drive Huracan does not like it. Lights flash, and it just shuts the car down. So I got 580-2, and I'm so excited for like all the crazy and fun stuff legally i'm gonna do in this car check out the interior you guys already saw the slow-mos but guys look at this thing you have that green stitching to match seats i did want alcantara it's hard to find like a spec obviously with alcantara but these seats are still sick they look plush brand new still still have that green stitching and oh man you got those big paddles baby i haven't even sat in it yet let me sit in this bad boy first time sitting in my lamborghini wow this is crazy right now. Holy smokes. <laughs> wow. This is unreal. I'm like, I'm at a loss for words right now, I'm not gonna lie. I'm trying not to do a lot of rambling in this video, but holy smokes. How do you guys feel right now? 
Are you guys happy? You guys excited with the purchase? I know I was going through like the whole McLaren thing and like, I just feel like this platform, yes, I know it's exact same to the R8, but the driving is a little bit different, a little more raw, a little bit more planted to the ground. But the platform itself with that V10, it's so reliable. Like this car will last me forever. And my plan honestly is to put a hundred plus thousand miles on this car. I'm gonna drive it everywhere and do everything in this car. And I'm gonna keep it and just pass it down to my kids. Like that is my goal. Just put so many miles in this thing, do crazy fun stuff with it, and then pass it down to Jaden and Genesis when they get older and they can continue it on, continue the legacy on and do fun, crazy stuff and daddy's first Lamborghini. Like that is my goal. I think that'd be amazing to pass that down. Smokes, man, I, I'm like, sorry guys, I'm at a loss for words. I'm really just soaking this in because wow. Wow. You know what? Let's get a first start. I haven't even started yet. Here we go. First start, 2017 Lamborghini, baby. vacuum cleaner she's quiet <laughs> she's quiet <laughs> I have a plan for that holy smokes this is crazy look at the dash I'm not gonna go too crazy <laughs> I want to show you something okay I finally did it you got a green hurricane yeah man Finally, man. Oh, congratulations. Thanks, man. Thanks. Thank you. Congrats, hey. Hey, y'all. <laughs> How are you, buddy? Good. Hey, it's pretty cool. Hey, your dad got a real car. <laughs> That's cool. That's amazing, bro. Thanks, man. Thank you. How long until we supercharge it? She, okay, we can't start that yet. You can't start that train yet. <laughs> no. Start, start already. Can I do the front end again? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. You, you like the front end? Here we go. Oh, dude. Hey, look at this. The two wheel drive. Oh, yeah. Let's go. You have to do delivery day donuts. It's a rule, or else we are no longer friends. <laughs> delivery day donuts. Delivery day donuts. DD. Double D's, man. You have two options. You either get double D's or the. Never mind. I can't say the other. Oh, my God. Excuse me? <laughs> Excuse me, Damon Fryer. Skinny <laughs> bottle ammo. No, no, he sure did. So did. Ass. I'm actually super impressed too. No. Yeah. Dude, that's sick. Congratulations. Look. Thanks, man. Put some serious wheels on there. Yeah, they're nice wheels. Actually, you know what's funny? It looks like it's got Evo wheels. It does with the Evo wheels. Okay. Yeah. I like this hatch is what I really wanted too. I'm glad I was able to find one with it. Dude, badass. Thanks, man. How long, is it, how long is it gonna take you to get up here? Uh, we're like 30, 30 minutes out, I think. Yeah, come on, let's go, get up here. I wanna see, I wanna see it in real life. <laughs> uh, you're part of the Lambros now, you're gonna have to start following Steve. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> That's funny. Get the tattoo and everything. Get the tattoo. <laughs> if you can, yeah, come, come up here and we'll celebrate. Okay. All right, before we head out and take the first drive, let's go look at some cars, because we've been I've been saying this too for a while, my wife and I are trying to get rid of the Model X. No, we're not trying. We're gonna get rid of the Model X and get something different, because honestly, the whole charging thing, EV thing, that's a wrap, we're tired of it. We did have a bid on a Hummer EV, which is still GM. I still have not heard anything. I'm gonna get my deposit back. But two, we have had a few people offer to sell us their Hummer EV, actually for a really good price, I'm not gonna lie. But we discussed it, and like the whole charging thing, we're just, we're over it, because it is our family car. So we go on nice long trips, like either we go to Universal, Disneyland, or we wanna go even like to Vegas. It's hard, we a lot of times rent a car, because the charging, you sit and you charge for 45 minutes to an hour, and it takes us so much time in your day. We're, we're just over it. We're over, we're over it. So let's look around and see what we got. There are a bunch of Urises here. Holy smokes. If you guys want an Urus, come to Eurocar. They have all of them in so many colors. What do you see, honey? All right, no, I feel like I know what you're gonna say. Actually, I don't know what you're gonna say, actually. I don't know what you're gonna say. Do you like the Range Rovers? 
was a 1976 Bronco. Oh my gosh, you and the Broncos. Guys, we went to Canada to go visit Tasha and Damon. We went to August Motor Cars. They had two classic Broncos. My wife just kept staring over them. Like, and those were like $130,000, right? They were like restored. Like, I mean, tip top shape, looked really nice, but I'm not paying no 130, 140 for an old school Bronco. Who said you were paying for anything? Okay, money bucks. Okay. Actually, yeah, uh, real talk. That is really clean, the Cadillac. Oh, you like the, the Escalade? It's got less than 500 miles on it. That oh, look is, at it. That, that's the big one though. That's like the I suburban know, type really model. It's huge. Well, let's take a look at it. Come on. This is really nice. What year? I don't know. 2024. 2024. Okay, okay. She's been looking. <laughs> oh, it's open. Let's we'll see. save that. They're all open. Wow. Oh, step came down. Oh, yeah. Step stool. The interior is plush. Dude, this is nice. Yo, this is really nice. Okay, so this one. A little bit too big, I think. So I don't like suburban, like four by four squared at the price range. <laughs> those things, those joints are still expensive. I'm a G Wagon yeah. fan, though. You don't like G Wagon I don't like the dashboard situation. Like, I don't like to feel like I'm in the engine. It's yeah. just not my cup of tea, but it's awesome. Do you yeah. think that would fit through a drive through? No. Nah, you're not fit the drive through. Starbucks would be a problem. But what I do like, shout out to my boy Yari. Yes, because he has one of these in a different color. And I know we looked at one here before that was black with the orange interior right now orange with black and orange interior we pass on we should have got it it's the bentega but this is sick this is like a carolina blue and ooh, it's got that interior though it's blue with like a cream that's really nice that would be destroyed yeah these kids can you guys keep that clean yes i would clean it clean but i don't know about him <laughs> get this guy right here put him under the bus okay now now you're talking now you're talking now you're talking this is hard. Now, could you imagine picking him up from school in this? It'd be hilarious. Soccer mom pickups in the rolls. <laughs> like, yeah, they'd step out with their freaking goldfish falling out. <laughs> their goldfish coming out of their pockets. Now, I just looked at the price, and um, well, a little bit of our price range <laughs> 459 Not getting that anytime soon, but we can yeah. still look. You take out a second mortgage. You take out a second mortgage, literally. That is. For sure a house on wheels. All right, back to the Range Rovers. We actually had a Range Rover Sport back in the day. What year was that? You remember what year that was, honey? 2009. 2009, was when they first had that new model. And I actually, I wasn't a huge fan of the Range Rovers, man. I, I wasn't, like they were they were cool when we got it, but after we outgrew it and they're nice, but we did have the Sport. So let me see what the full size, if there's any like a big difference between the Sport and the full size. Obviously these ones are newer, so they're way more upgraded than what we had. But I don't know, man. I don't know. I know a lot of you out there probably like the Range Rover, but I am not a huge uh, Range Rover fan. I think we're gonna pass. So I don't know. I don't see any family vehicles here for us. You know what, honey? Screw it. Let's just get two Lamborghinis. <laughs> I see your face lighting up and you're grinning. What do you see? Oh my God, the Bronco. <laughs> you're funny. I know it goes back. This goes back to my wife's childhood and her family. And uh, you can't let, I, I feel like you're gonna do, just gonna do this one day, aren't you? Yeah. You are? Totally. Okay, I was telling the audience, I know we told them we're tired of like Tesla. We're tired of plugging things in. Like that's what we're pretty much opting out on the Hummer EV. What if we just said, maybe we can still do the charging thing? Oh my gosh, that one's already sold. So we can't do oh, it today. Got lucky. You guys have been really upset. If I bought a Cybertruck, I know you guys would be really upset. We literally are, we're overcharging. So we're out. All right, everybody. But it's time to pull the brand new 2017 Huracan out and go for my first drive in my brand new, well new to me, Lamborghini Huracan. In the Huracan, baby, and I'll tell you what, compared to the R8, man, the driving experience is way different. A lot more raw, a lot more like, I wanna say it, race car, planned to the ground. The R8 is much more like luxury, refined, very comfortable drive, but this one is so much more aggressive. I'm loving it right now. <laughs> Look at this, baby, let's go. Woo! <laughs> 
Oh my gosh. I need exhaust really bad though. Woo! Yes! I don't want to sound corny. I don't want to sound cliche, everybody. I'm telling you, man. Never give up on your dreams, no matter how big or small that goal is. <laughs> you can make it happen, I'm telling you. Like I said back earlier in the vlog, like, I always wanted to get a Lamborghini. Like, I knew I could do it, but I always had a little bit of doubt in my head. Like, is it the right time? Can I really make it happen? And I just honestly try to scratch that doubt away, kept my head down, kept grinding. You guys can do it, man. Just when you have that doubt, you have to bear down and bear through it. Keep pushing and you can make your dreams come true. It might not be a car, it might be a house, it might be a dream job, it might be a pair of shoes, whatever. It could be something that you're trying to obtain, small or big, just don't give up on your dreams and chase it, make it happen. I'm here, I'm living proof, trust me, that you can do it. Because like I said, I am not a millionaire, man, I am not rich, I'm your average Joe, your average skinny, that's just trying to make his dreams happen. And I made a big one happen today, baby. Whoa. Man, this thing drives so different than the RA. <laughs> wow. Going up. All right. You guys know I had to do it. I had to stop by the DDHQ, show the boys the car, like Damon said, and break this thing in a proper, baby. Life is too short to drive what? Boring cars, baby. What is up, man? Congrats. Yo, what do you guys think? Congratulations. Oh, man, thank you. Holy thank you, thank you. Thank you. Dude, you deserve <laughs> that. It's been a long time coming. Dude. The a, lot, a lot of back and forth, back and forth. Dude, the wife has a grocery <laughs> list right now that's about to rain down on you. That's true. Hey? That is true. Wait, I've always wanted uh, a, like an, uh, the bright OG Lamborghini green, the Verde Mantis. Mantis. Or, is that yeah. what this is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I love yeah. this color. I've it never fits, had a bright. green car, and this is the only green car I'd ever have. Really? This is this Lambo green. Yeah, that means a lot. This, this, this is a really sick Come color. from the, the Lamborghini Ambassador right here. It yeah. Means a lot. So this is like 580, rear wheel drive. You took my yeah. advice. Don't get the all wheel drive. Yes. This is uh, got the Vorsteiner wing. Yeah. Like, ironically, my car had originally. But what's really yeah. interesting is, dude, you've got like Evo wheels on here. Dude, I noticed that, and I don't know why or where they came from, but- Who cares? It's, lit. it's an upgrade because this car with steel brakes definitely would've came with a 19 inch wheel. You know or this is a 20. Dope? I'll tell you another secret. What? It has a cup holder. Dude, you do not. Came with a cup holder. Oh, a cup. I swear Dude, it came with a cup holder. It's got the $400 cup Let's holder. Let's go, that's an upgrade. <laughs> had so many Huracons, and the only one I think that I had a cup holder in was, did my Evo have oh, it? it Dude, look at this, look at this. Boom! Oh, yeah. Let's go. That is the biggest flex. <laughs> that is a huge Jeez, flex. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I, I have straight up FOMO right now. <laughs> I need I need to get a cup holder. Oh my gosh. It is so cool. And when you put it in, you don't even know it's there. Dude, I really like it because it's really clean. Like you can do so much with this car because there is just a little tiny hint of green stitch. Yeah. But it's super clean. It's actually the best part about oh, these Huracons cool. is that the interiors, dude, wear really well. Yeah. Like dude, this it looks thing, almost brand new, right? This thing looks brand new. That's what I'm yeah, saying. Look at, the so drive, look at the driver. Yeah, yeah, no wrinkles. Even on the entry, there's no wrinkles on the yeah, entry it's pad. Super clean. Yeah. Nothing, you know what? It's nice. Nothing scuffed. Yeah. And a lot of the time, sometimes this gets scuffed if someone has a ring on. Yep. This is really, congrats, dude. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. This is badass. I've been trying to cry all day. Oh, but. Look at that. You got paddles. I don't have paddles. paddles anymore. I know you took me down. <laughs> I'll say though, this remember uh, I got my HRE little invite, right? Yeah. Remember, that's where we first met. Remember, yeah, that's our I friend. Remember. That's our friend anniversary. That's right. So just friend relating that back. Yeah. Like, all day I've been trying to cry all day. Yeah. But I got this is my dad's actual favorite shirt. Oh hell wore, yeah! Del Earnhardt. We started this whole thing. Del Earnhardt. And then for you, I just want to say thank you for being a really good friend, really a best friend to me and a brother, and really inspired me to honestly to get a Lamborghini like. Because of you is really where I really, really push hard to get this specific car. Because obviously you're a Lamborghini guy. And what you've done with these cars. Number one ambassador. And like, I don't know, being around good people motivates me. And you really motivate me and push me to get this damn car. So that's what I'm saying. My man. Thank, I just want to say thank I'm you. I'm so proud of you. Thank you for Come the on. video. This is like real shit. I'm right also here. 45 now. So <laughs> I, need a, I need help thank you, out. Man. I love you, man. I love you too. I'm this so awesome. glad that you got your, your dream car. Thanks, man. This is badass. Appreciate it. Super sick. We have tons of spare parts. We've, <laughs> we've had so I many of these. Overs. 
So, Got any springs? I need to lower this thing a little bit. Dude, I even have if you want it. If you wanted like a second set of wheels just to rock, you know, for doing burnouts and stuff, I do have actually. Uh, Steven's gonna borrow them, but I have brand spanking new Evo 19 inch all black wheels, and they're oh, actually shoot. really nice. They're a split five spoke. Oh shoot! And they're like brand new. Do true uh, DDE Damon fashion though. Hold on me. Oh! Let's go. Kicking the doors closed. <laughs> so what's the first mod? Oh, exhaust, Monday. Exhaust. Dropping it off. Oh, Monday. Monday, and it's gonna go on, yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah. Well, we'll see if it fits. So I'm taking my R8 exhaust and putting it on here. I think it'll fit. Really? I think it will. I think it will too. Ironically, my R8 exhaust, the stock one, was actually a Lamborghini exhaust. Really? So based off that, I'm thinking it'll fit. It probably will. It That'd probably be the will. first project. It's basically the exact same platform. Yeah minus the look and, and honestly there are things about this car that are going to feel a little different oh dude the driving because, experience well because it's it's a, it's a di different yeah the dimensions the way the weight is positioned in this car and i honestly just like not realizing that and being like ignorant to the fact that like, dude it's a way different driving car like it's way more aggressive like the bull i get the bull yeah. it's they do, aggressive. They, they tune it. They tune it to be more aggressive. It's amazing because they want you to have a different experience in the Audi R8 versus yeah. a Lamborghini. Yeah. So even though it is the same power plant and drivetrain and things of that nature, they do tune it and configure it in a way where this feels more aggressive. Yeah. Like the brakes on this, I'm pretty sure are a little more aggressive. Oh yeah, they are. Yeah, for sure. Even for steels. Yeah. Like I have the same brakes on on my car, bad. and they grab real good. Really good. Yeah. 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 yeah man, it's uh, it's been a it's been a day. <laughs> yeah, that's rad. I know everyone probably thinks I've been smoking. I'm not, guys. I've been crying. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I love it. First time skinny will be a little bit. I'll never see it again. Trust me. Oh, so <laughs> thank you, man. I appreciate I really like it. This. Thank you. Thank you. I love this color. I almost, I almost painted one of my cars this color. Quick story. Before, I've never told anybody this. Before Ken passed away, when I was doing my Super Trofeo build on my car, okay, I was actually gonna paint it this color. Oh wow! So I was gonna have a green Super Trofeo That'd Evo on there. I know, because I thought it, because this collar really yeah. accentuates the lines. Yeah. Because of the way you can see, like, look how you can see every crease. Yeah. And it has this, like, depending on how the light hits it, because it's a pearl color. Yeah. It's got this sparkle in it. The way that the light hits it shows all the lines. Like, look yeah, at the right roof. there. Yeah, you can see the roof right there. Yeah. So I, I was gonna paint amazing. the Evo this, and then Ken passed away, and I was like, dude, we gotta do a tribute. So then I just painted it satin black so that it was wouldn't show all the lines and the imperfections. I'm really obsessed with it. This color is like my obsession with papaya spark from McLaren. Yeah. Because like that orange is like the this yeah. version of green. If you just get the sun right here, look. You so people can see. Look at the sparkle in that. Yeah, it's showing up right there too. Dude. Yeah. That's sick. Sweet. And it's mine. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Let's go. Hell yeah. Lamb bros. Lamb bros. Finally. Hey, you gotta do donuts. Now we gotta do donies. Now we gotta do donies. You got, you got, oh, yeah, you got uh, rear wheel drive vehicle. No more excuses. <laughs> okay, roll forward two feet, smash it. Go. Smash it. Feel, brother? Hell yeah, I felt sick. <laughs> Rear wheel drive. Woo. I finally can have fun. Dream car series. Dream car. Let's cry again, man. This is awesome. Hell yeah. Thanks for being a part of it, dude. Let's go. Guys, we're not done yet. Hit that subscribe button. Only the beginning. And it's about to get freaking crazy. Let's get it. Skitties, whoa!